So the story of uh, Mikor Hayim for me started about 13 years ago. I ran into Rabbi Hillel Haber. He told me, he said, Nachman, it's a shame that this community does not have an organization that treats addiction and helps all members of our community through spirituality. He didn't say spirituality. What he really said was Torah. And I think that's the main point here. So I met Rabbi Moses in Jack's house, Jack Haber. We immediately clicked. His message was almost divine. I could not believe what I was hearing. Finally, everything that I believed in was actually happening in front of my eyes. So I told the rabbi, I said, stop what you're doing in your rabbinical field. Quit all your jobs and just focus on this. And then we launched the Mikod. You know, when people are struggling, there's, people don't like to talk about this, but there's a spiritual confusion. People are confused. They're going through tough times. They're going through a hard time. Coming to this class, there is no confusion. This is Torah. It's not only we're doing the classes and we're speaking to people. You know, there's something magical about the same people coming every week and getting a little intimate and talking about the Torah and talking about life struggles. Our history is our future. How we re connect ourselves, how we readjust ourselves, how we reformat ourselves to have this sense of a higher power. It starts with us, ourselves, each individual. It starts with the Torah and it gets the juice from the leadership of the, the Torah, which are the rabbis. Accord means the source, the source of life. The Pasuk says, Ki imecha mekor hayim. Because with you, God is the source of life. You can't do it without him. When your life gets unmanageable, when you lose control, everybody realizes they can't be the source of their own success. You must reach out. You must reach up and ask Hashem and surrender to his will. A lot of you know me growing up as Sisselman. And many people today ask me, why do you go by Jack Ovadia? Who's Ovadia? So Ovadia was the surname of my father, Max. I live Shalom. Growing up, I never had a chance to meet my father. He was taken from me at a young age because of the disease of addiction. So when Nachman, Jack, and the rabbi last week, Friday morning, called me over and said, hey, can you come over for five minutes? We just want to talk to you about this organization. The five minutes turned into almost three hours. And I never looked back. Addiction doesn't only affect the person who's suffering. It attacks the entire family. You're not donating to only an impactful cause. You're not only helping the people who are suffering to stay sober, but you're helping so many families and the future of our community. The Torah is here for us. The Torah can help someone in recovery by giving them purpose, by giving them meaning, by giving them a destiny, by giving them a God-centered life. That is the way to help people in recovery. This is a lifelong thing. So people understand that and they are already pledging for the next few years to come because they know that this organization is going to go nowhere but get larger. Hopefully through your generosity, through your wisdom, through any way you want to help possible, we can Bezat Hashem continue to do great work for the community and make this a big success. <laughs>